Have you ever wondered how a breaker gets installed by the pros? Today we're going to show you. Stick around. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about circuit breakers. Specifically single pole circuit regular breakers and double pole breakers. We're going to demonstrate how we install both. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to remove our panel cover. Um, we're going to put a couple of breakers in here and tie these cables in. Uh, we have a piece of 14-2 and we have a piece of 12-2, 240 volt. So the 12-2, 240 volt is for a hot water tank we have and uh, the 14-2 is for some outlets that we have. So let's start by taking the panel cover off. Now normally a good idea for us to do is when we go to try to start a breaker and shut the power off, but if we do that we're going to lose our lights, so we're going to just go ahead and tie it in live and just be careful doing it. Now in the top of, or in the side of this panel are two knockouts. So here and here is where we're going to come in with our knockouts and we're going to use the plastic ones like these and then we're going to come in and do our connections inside. So these are half inch knockouts, um, quite common. And these are gray plastic connectors. Not really good at focusing, but anyway. Stick those in the panel. And we're going to pre strip them back. Don't need that much so we can cut some off. Get this out of the way. That's for a heat pump wire I have. Sorry if my head's in the way. Not a very good demonstration. So working in live panels, when we're like this, you can see these are the bus bars uh, for both sides. So they go one side to the other side. Uh, between the two bus bars is 240, um, and each one staggers every second one. So we have 240 across two bus bars, or 120 across one bus bar. So we're gonna go ahead and stick our breaker in, which is gonna be, from that. So there. These clip right in, just like so. And also the double pull one, which also clip in quite easily. This is an Eaton panel, so it's relatively easy to uh, work with. And we're going to go ahead and strip our red one back. And stick that in the panel. Get my head out of the way of the camera. Sometimes these are a little finicky to go in. There we go. Okay. Now you can see we have the wire, both wires in the panel, and then inside we have them stripped back. Uh, we usually leave about a half of an inch insulation inside the connector. 
And now we're going to do our grounds up. <coughs> the grounds obviously are going to go under the ground bar. Tie them in. Grab our trusty Robinson screwdriver. sequence up for both. So we'll do the other ground. This is one of the most important things, not touching this bare ground conductor to that bus bar, because we can get sparks flying. It's happened before. I'm sure it'll happen again. is going to go to our neutral bar which you can see is up each side so we always leave a little extra stick it on the neutral bar come on there we go oh my goodness he stripped the wire without a set of strippers yeah well when you've been doing this for years you get used to do it to put just the right amount of tension on it so you can strip it without scoring the wire or doing any damage or throwing your screwdriver in the panel and blowing things up. So now I'm going to show you a close up. Our neutral, there we go. Our neutral is underneath the neutral bar. Our grounds are done up underneath the ground bar. And now we're going to tie our hots in. So what we have here is we have a hot from, um, from the plug circuit that we're going to do and we also have the two uh the red and the black sorry for 240 for uh, a heater that we're doing in the bathroom and if you're wondering why this isn't on an arc fault it's because it's in my garage so there's no arc faults in garages required here in canada so we're simply going to put the red uh sorry the black Underneath the 15 amp breaker slot, and once we tighten it down, it's going to be snug, not super tight. We don't want to damage the wire, but it's going to be nice and snug, hand tight. And then we're going to give a pull on it uh, just to make sure that it's under there good. And then the same with the two conductors for the red and the black. this case we're not phasing so it doesn't matter I'm tighten that down and we're going to tighten that down put our heat pump wires back up in there because that's for something else do that another time. We have another wire to tie in there, but we can do that another day. And then we're going to take the knockouts, the face knockouts, off the cover of our panel. So we have uh, a jump there because I want to leave room for my heat pump breaker. I already have it marked. So we're going to take the next three spots out for push outs. Some of the electricians might be looking at this and saying, well, he mounts the panel upside down. Well, yeah, okay, it's rated for that, so. I did it because it looks neater coming in the bottom of the panel. Oh, there we go, look at that. We're gonna stick our cover back on once I find my impact tool. There we go, and the screws. Okay. 
Covers back on. And we're gonna get our screwdriver. Sorry, not our screwdriver, our marker. I'm gonna mark hot water. Hot water. And plugs. And all that's left to do is turn them on. And then we're gonna test for power. Stick our leads into the outlet. And as you can see, we have 117.6.5 in the meter, so it works. So there you have it. That's it for installing a single pole or a double pole circuit breaker. This, uh, this works with all types of panels. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Get the camera to set right. Good lord, I need a cameraman.